Hi, welcome to this tutorial video on how to use the Fold It Science Puzzle Game in which you'll fold proteins for the benefit of science. I've already completed a few of the puzzles <clears throat> so this prompt is asking if I want to continue where I left off but for now I'm going to go back to the very first puzzle since it's likely that you haven't done any of them yet. These are all contained in the intro puzzles. These are set up in order to teach you how to use the program. You could also choose science puzzles or contests for more advanced puzzles. Okay. So, scroll up to the top, the very first puzzle. This is what you normally would start with if you haven't used the program before. So what we have is this very small protein here. These are basically two, maybe two or three amino acids, right? Two side chains showing. And in this case, this small protein, we can give it a number of different shapes. Right now I'm just rotating the view, which you can do by clicking and dragging the mouse. You could also click both buttons of the mouse and sort of change your view another way. I'm moving around the the entire protein. In this very first puzzle, what you'll need to do is drag the side chains and rotate them, right? Giving the protein a different shape. And the goal here is to remove the clash because we created because these two side chains are too close to each other. This is also known as a steric clash. They're basically on top of each other. So what we can do is select this side chain and try and rotate it. We've resolved the clash and this structure of this particular mini protein is more stable. Okay. At any point during these puzzles you can click the menu, change options, save your solution, select different puzzles, and we'll see that eventually we'll have other actions here other than reset puzzle. For now let's go on to the next puzzle. Here we have a slightly bigger protein. Again, you'll be given these helpful hints along the way. So for example, you can click and drag the background to rotate your view as we already described by clicking the mouse. Tell me more. <clears throat> After that we can still rotate the side change. So again we can see that some of these side chains are basically on top of each other or too close to each other and you'll notice that some side chains we won't be able to rotate as much. Right? These proteins have limited flexibility. Here we can clear one clash that way. We'll have to move one of the other side chains in order to create a stable conformation. Okay. Um, oh. In this case, I have to make it even slightly more stable. You can see you'll be given a score at the top that reflects the stability of the pro protein, or basically uh, have you achieved a low energy structure. Okay, let's continue to the next puzzle. Here again, a more complicated protein, and we've been given a new action in the action uh, menu bar. There's also a hotkey for it, the S key. Right. Shake will automatically rotate different side chains and have them sort of shake and rotate around until steric clashes are cleared. So we could try and clear these clashes manually, or we can simply hit shake. For complicated problems, using shake is a good idea because it can quickly get you to the right solution where there might only be one or two side chains left to manually fix. Uh, let's see. We can stop shaking and simply by clicking shake we solve the puzzle. Let's try one more. Here <clears throat> you can see that we can rotate not only side chains but we're also going to be able to rotate the backbone of the protein. In this case, we will have to do that to resolve this steric clash. 
right, well, we won't really be able to rotate this amino acid into a position in which there's no longer a clash. You can see that the red segments here indicate that the backbones are too close to each other. So we could quite simply and quite easily just drag the backbone apart and we've created a more stable confirmation for that protein. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Good luck solving the folded puzzles yourself. Remember as you go through the tutorial you'll be giving, given other actions that can help you solve the puzzle, things like shake, and you'll be given tips along the way on how to solve each puzzle.